hard facts on, uh, on slippery uh, driveways and sidewalks. <clears throat> what should we know? Well, I mean, there's lots you should know about freeze and thaw. A lot of it is obvious, but some of it uh, will be active reminders, I think. Um, number one, if you're an owner and occupier of a premises, uh, as impossible as it may seem to keep up with the ice and the sleet and whatnot, you are obligated to maintain your premises safe for people coming on it. So if that means you have to be out there salting and sanding and clearing multiple times a day, just know that that is your obligation. Um, and if you're going away because it's the uh, winter holiday or vacation season for people who are lucky enough to get away, have somebody come and take care of that for you because the post is still going to be delivered and people may still come to your premises. You're still responsible to those folks. I'm thinking of elderly people who may be watching or people who are home with the flu who just cannot get out there to uh, keep up with the maintenance. Uh, are you protected if in fact you put a couple of pylons at the end of your laneway or some kind of a barrier with a sign? Uh, yeah, that is actually one of the things that you can do. In fact, it's recommended that if you cannot properly maintain your premises, then you have to tell people not to come on because it's dangerous. I mean, that is hopefully a measure Even you don't need to take. Even parking a vehicle or something yeah. like that? Yeah, something to block access and to make it clear that, you know, it's not a safe place for people to come. Um, another thing are, are icicles. And, uh, uh, you know, this is icicle season as well, as pretty as they are. Uh, we get calls on a regular basis from people who have been struck by falling ice, um, and some of these icicles can get pretty big. So if you have icicles on your, on your premises, uh, try to get them down. I, I recommend not standing underneath them. Uh, bad idea. And you're talking about icicles. Let's go look at the roof overall. I guess you wanted to offer some advice about those who are planned to get the ice or the snow load off of their, their roofs. Yeah, I mean, we get, sad, sadly, we get calls all the time from people who are either cleaning out their own gutters or trying to clear off their own roofs. They fall, it's not good. If you can get somebody uh, professional to do it, please do, um, do it with care because we get a lot of calls of people who are trying to prevent injury who ultimately end up getting injured themselves.